All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Scopefield Welding. Guys, before we get started into this, please subscribe, hit the notification, hit the bell so that anytime that we upload a new video, you guys are the first ones notified about the video. So, before we get started into this, guys, I gotta tell you, we get asked all the time about these beautiful caps that we are always wearing. They're a blue collar cap. I will have a link down at the bottom. They are custom made. Now, I'm a big contrast kind of guy. I like my caps being a little bit contrast, but I also love a paisley. Okay, a beautiful paisley. It's got it's got stitching. Everything's customiz customizable on them. Um, one of the things I do love about them is you do measure your head. You send it in. She builds them the way that you want them built if you want them deep. So all my caps sit really deep. That's the one thing I really love about my caps. They sit uh, actually over my eyebrows or just a little bit below my eyebrows uh, really I've never been burnt on my eyebrows so that's something that I love knock on wood if I had wood knock on aluminum whatever anyways I love a deep cap if you don't like a deep cap or that kind of bugs you having it down that far over your ears or whatever all you gotta do is tell her she'll she'll bring it up a little bit she can customize your caps any way that you want so just make sure you guys go check out blue collar caps down at the bottom of the video uh, I will have a link to her Instagram page you can get a hold of her through there all right so guys we're coming into part three of this bed build I'm freaking excited about it we're starting to we're not necessarily skirting everything right now. That'll be in part four. We're going to go ahead and start skirting, start laying boxes in, start cutting in the, uh, the recessed boxes and whatnot. But in part three, we're building the oxygen rack. We are doing a double bottle uh, oxygen rack that's laying down flat. Now, I get asked all the time, can you lay your bottles flat? Oxygen, you can lay flat, okay? Oxygen does not have to be standing up. M. Shaw rules do say... So if you ever go work in the mines or whatever, things like that, there are some places that require you to stand an oxygen bottle straight up, but they do not need to be stood up. They can be laid flat. Every rig welder that I know that does not work the mines, um, their bottles are laid flat. Now, one thing about laying bottles flat that I really, really like is you can start building on top of them. Your coolers can sit on top of them, but in this video, we actually build a box on the inside of it, which is super, super convenient. It holds an umbrella, it holds uh, levels, it holds l tools that otherwise would just be sitting on the back of the bed. So I do like that the box is built on top of the oxygen. Now, acetylene. Acetylene has to be stood up. Actually, a liquid that uh, in the bottle, it's porous. And if you lay that bottle down flat, it becomes unstable. So you have to keep your bottle stood up straight on an acetylene bottle. Keep that in mind. Your acetylene bottles have to be stood straight up. Now on this thing, your bottles on your acetylene, we like to put them behind the machines. Um, I've heard, and I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that the motor keeps the acetylene warm, which actually kind of expands the acetylene just a little bit, which actually gives you more acetylene. I don't know, I've never been that tight budgeted to where I'm like that worried about acetylene. I always carry two bottles of oxygen to one acetylene. Now I love carrying two bottles of both, okay? I've been on jobs where I used to only carry one bottle of each and I've ran out on a tie-in once. I've only done it once because man, the ash chewing I got for that was phenomenal. It was a, it straightened me right up. I've always carried two bottles of acetylene and two bottles of oxygen since that time. So guys, in this video, we're building the oxygen rack. Hope you enjoy it. We love you all. Be blessed. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Be blessed. See ya. So you guys can watch me and Randy, we're laying out what we're calling the kick plate on this oxygen rack. Now the kick plate, our bottles are only so long and if we were to put the bottles all the way to the end of this, it would uh, you wouldn't be able to get a gauge on it. So right there we put the kick plate on so that we actually welded it in so that when you do put the bottle in, it's got somewhere to hit. You can see it right there on the back side and it gives that bottle somewhere to hit and keeps the gauge outside of the box. That way you can get to it, you can turn the bottles on, and it's easy that way. The other thing we're doing is we're laying out that second floor. Now, the second floor, 
you guys can see me on the back side right there that is actually going to get plated all the way off it's going to be welded tight you'll never see that kick plate in there but it actually gives you a box that's a little bit longer so that you can put things in now one thing i did mess up on this box but randy does not have is a pipeliner cloud umbrella you're gonna want to build the box a little bit wider or a little bit longer if you want to put a pipeline or a pipeline cloud which is a big umbrella i highly recommend a pipeline cloud they're a freaking phenomenal umbrella built tough they've done tests up to 60 mile an hour with them they hang them off their hoosier poles and drive 60 mile an hour down the road they are built like they should be built but if you want to be able to put one of those in this box you're going to have to build it just a little bit longer which means that kick plate is going to have to be moved up even farther up to keep them bottles sticking out just letting you guys kind of know what we're doing right here with that kick plate and what that is for that's just to keep the bottles outside of the box so that you can turn the gauges on or put gauges on it just makes your life a little bit easier Now, the other thing that I can see on this that I forgot to film was the actual whole layout. Uh, guys, in the print, it's going to show you how to build this exact box. Um, like I said, if you want to put a pipeline or cloud in it, you're going to have to make it just a little bit longer. But in the print, it's going to show you where the layout, the holes, and the, the overall dimensions of this box, and, and then where the angle iron is going to be. Now, you guys are going to see where the angle iron is actually welded down to the bed. And it's very, very important that you put that inside this box. And I'll explain in the video why. Here's some. You guys can see that we bent the, the top rack. Now, the thing about bending the top rack, and I cannot give you measurements for the top rack because it's going to determine on what size rod you're using and things like that. But there's a thing called stretch out. And, and a lot of sheet metal workers are going to know what this is. But when you start to bend things, you're actually going to start stretching. And you're going to have to add in that stretch out into your measurement. So... That's going to be up to you guys if you want to try to bend it or if you just want to cut four chunks of it and weld it together. It's going to look great either way. The bend did look really good. We did make a tie-in weld in the middle of the run. That way we had uh, four corners that looked the same. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, one thing I love about having oxygen bottles laid flat on your truck is you can actually start building on top of them. Um, the main the main box above it is for like your levels and umbrellas and things like that, just to where nobody can get to them. You can add a lock to it if you want to or whatever else if you're that worried about it. But right here, you can see that we're actually adding a uh, cold roll which is going to be framed off and this is for where your cooler is going to sit or you know it's going to be kind of an extra rack on top of the the oxygen rack so that you can add your coolers or strap something down or put a chop saw or something like that on top of your oxygen rack so when this box sits it's got somewhere to sit so this is what's going to keep your bottles from rocking around just a one and a half inch angle iron yeah. Let's see. 
can't roll, and they're not going to be rocking around inside your oxygen box, making a bunch of noise and driving you crazy. And your box is going to sit right along the edge of that. Hide the bottles, make everything look good. Pristine. in there a little better. It's got four tacks on it. Good? Guys, welcome back. Thank you for getting through the whole video. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. Hope that it, the oxygen rack made sense. Tried to do a couple voiceovers on it to try to kind of clarify a few things that maybe uh, might have been a little bit difficult to understand or what we were doing at the time. So, anyways, you guys, thank you for hanging out with us. Be blessed. Don't forget to share this with somebody that could use it, and we love you all. Thank you for everything.